Okay guys, um, so stop me if you have any questions uh, while we're going over this problem. But anyways, uh, so let, let me read it to you. It says, the reaction used in the deployment of automobile airbags is the high temperature decomposition of sodium azide, um, NaN3, okay. um, it's a solid, to produce nitrogen, so that's actually what's in your, um, in your car, you know, before uh, you get into an accident, right, and then, it, then this, this equation happens. But anyways, it says to produce nitrogen gas um, according to the following equation, and that nitrogen gas is what actually blows up the airbag. Um, the equation is this chemical equation, so two sodium azide solid goes to two um, sodium solid um, plus three nitrogen gas. Um, what volume in liters of nitrogen gas at a final pressure and temperature of 1.15 atm, so let's write these things down, so we're looking for the volume, um, the pressure, 1.15 atm, so that's cool, so it's already in the units that you're going to want it in, and 30.0 degrees Celsius. So, of course, remember, we're going to have to change that to Kelvin, right? So, when we do that, 273.15 um, that's going to equal, what? 303.15 Kelvin. Okay, um, Respectively, would you uh, expect to be produced by the decomposition of 45 grams of sodium azide? So, um, it gives you the mass of sodium azide, 45.0 grams. Um, and remember, grams is not really as useful in chemistry. We need to um, make it into moles because that gives us an actual value of the number of units of molecules that we have, okay? So, um, I calculated the uh, um, molar mass of sodium azide uh, before this problem, so let me just put it in. Um, I calculated it to be uh, 65.01 grams, so um, we can write that down somewhere. The molar mass of sodium azide, 65.01 grams per mole. So, remember we need to cancel out grams and we need moles, so we're going to put moles on top, grams on the bottom, use that as our conversion factor, right? So, 65.01 grams per one mole, grams cancel, and of course that's grams of sodium azide, so let's do this problem. So we're actually winging this one, I haven't done this one yet. So, zero point, and we'll just do it to a few sig figs out. And we'll, at the end, cut it down to the three sig figs. Okay, so that's how many moles of sodium azide we're starting with. Okay, so we want to know the, um, volume of nitrogen gas. So, how do we do volume? Well, we don't really have um, a way to do it with those things, but we remember the equation PV equals nRT, okay? And you guys know stoichiometry from the last chapter. We've done stoichiometry before, okay? So, um, what we can do is um, put those PV equals NRT, which we learned earlier in this chapter, and the stoichiometry stuff, which we learned from the last chapter, together, and um, figure it all out, okay? So, we know the math, or the, this is now the number of moles of sodium azide, right? So, it's 0 0.6922 moles, okay? And we're looking for the number of moles of nitrogen. Okay, so what do we know about that? That there's a ratio of 2 to 3 
to, of sodium azide to nitrogen and the number of moles, right? Because the chemical equation tells you the number of moles. So um, let's go ahead and figure out the number of moles of nitrogen that we've got then. Okay, so the number of moles of nitrogen that we've got is going to be 0 0.6922 moles um, times, and that's, here, let's do it this way so it'll be even more clear. So this is going to be moles of what? Sodium azide, right? Times, and what did we say our conversion factor was? Um, a 2 to 3 conversion factor. So for every 2 and 8 and 3s, we have 3 and 2s. Remember, you can use these as kind of conversion factors. So, um, so for, we want to put 2 moles and a and three at the bottom, uh, three moles and two at the top. Notice moles cancel cancel, and all we got to do is so I have one of these calculators that'll keep my answer in there. So I'm just going to take answer times three divided by two, and I get this answer. So zero point or one point zero three eight. We'll take it too. So that's the number of moles of nitrogen now. Okay, so now we know the number of moles of nitrogen. We know the pressure of nitrogen. We know the temperature of nitrogen. So pressure, number of moles, temperature, you know R, that's given to you always. So now we should be able to figure out the volume, right? And what will happen is everything will cancel out. So are you guys getting this then? Does it make sense? Okay. Um, remember, you need to write it all down, you know, because what did I, I read this this morning. It's like uh, watching me do chemistry and expecting you to learn chemistry is like watching, um, uh, what do you say, uh, aerobics instructor do aerobics and expecting yourself to lose weight, you know? So anyways, so let's just... Um, uh, isolate the variable that we want, right? So we want V isolated, so we'll div divide both sides by P. Cancel, cancel. So what do we have? V equals NRT over P. So that's what we're going to use, okay? So let me write this number of moles of nitrogen way down here at the bottom. So hopefully those of you who are watching this in the video can still see this. Is that cool? Can we still see it? Okay, good. Okay, and we'll, I'm going to erase all of this stuff because, of course, I'm going to need this part of the, of the board. And we'll use this equation. Okay? So the volume of nitrogen is going to be the number of moles of nitrogen times R times the temperature of nitrogen over the pressure of nitrogen. And so let's just plug and chug now. So number of moles, 1.038 moles. So R, remember, is given to you, but it's given to you in that like text message. Whoops. I should have looked at it before. 0.0. .0 um, liters ATM uh, over one mole Kelvin. So remember, that's the way I like to write it so we can cancel things out. So it makes it easy. And then we got the temperature here 303.15 Kelvin. And divide all that by the pressure. Now remember what I told you before, if you can't remember what the units are supposed to be by this time, you better remember, but if you somehow just blank on the test or something, just remember what the units of the um, gas constant is, and that'll tell you the units that you want to put all your um, other things in, okay? So watch, moles cancel there, right? Kelvins cancel there, so 1 over is 1 over, right? So ATM will cancel there. And what are we left with is liters. So
So, and that's what we wanted because it asks what's the volume of nitrogen in liters. So let's do it. So times 0 0.0821, enter, times 303.15, divided by 1.15. So what did I get? Uh, 22.47 so, 22.47 liters is 22.5 liters because we got three there and three there. So the volume of nitrogen is going to be 22.5 liters of nitrogen when your airbag goes off. So. That's going to be <laughs> enormously huge if you think about that, right? But that's good because you want your head to ricochet off of something that's bouncy instead of that steering wheel or whatever. Right? So are there any questions about that one? You guys, if I put this on the test, you should be able to get it, right? Okay. Or something similar because it's not going to be exactly this problem. It'll be a much more exciting problem than an airbag deploying, if you can imagine that. Okay.